Tonight, KPRC2 investigates is working to protect you from a brand new crime perpetrated by cyber pirates who are trying to steal your bank account information, steal your credit cards, and access all your most private information. They can do it and are doing it by hacking their way directly into your cell phone, and the doorway they're using to get into your phone is public Wi-Fi. Now, investigator Bill Spencer is about to show you exactly how this crime is pulled off and the three things you need to do to stop it. It's really terrifying because for me, it's no different than them breaking into your home. Christian Maurer of Magnolia is the survivor of an attack she never saw coming and didn't even know was happening. An attack by cyber criminals armed with wild looking devices like these that they use to electronically smash their way into her cell phone and from there into her most sensitive information. What these guys were able to do to me was break into my personal email address, break into my credit card, utilize it to for their benefit. And how far can the fraud go after that? So just what did Christian do wrong? Absolutely nothing other than use public Wi-Fi systems just like millions of us do every day. But now, cyber thieves have created a brand new crime that targets public Wi-Fi users. A crime that the United States Secret Service says allows the crooks to actually break into your smartphone and take whatever they want. This is called a man in the middle attack, uh, Wi-Fi jacking. These guys are set up outside or uh, outside of a location and as long as they're able to access the Wi-Fi from that location, they can start setting up their attack. We're talking about credentials being stolen, bank account uh, information being stolen, passwords being stolen. This is a look at the high-tech tools these cyber pirates are using to pull off the attack. Coleman Ryan, a forensic cyber detective with K-Griff Investigations, explains what they can do. Coleman, what the heck is this space age looking thing? So this is a very high powered directional antenna so they can sit far away and force your phone onto their network. The fact is these criminals can hack your phone even after you've left that Wi-Fi location because your phone remembers that Wi-Fi network and the thieves can impersonate it. To prove that, we asked this woman, Kelly Scheidler, who also works in IT, to use the Wi-Fi at this coffee shop. Then afterwards, we follow her home. Now, with Kelly's help and her permission, we're going to show how Coleman, using his high-powered antenna and the rest of his equipment, can hack into her phone and take total control of it. Kelly, you're all right with this? Yes, Billy, I am. Coleman, are you ready to go? I'm ready. And now, parked across the street, 50 yards away, Coleman simply points his device at Kelly's house. 10%, 30%. And in less than one minute. I'm trying to force her phone on my network and I, I got her. Now to prove that Coleman's got control of Kelly's phone, she's gonna try going to a website, but she's not gonna get there. Wow, what the heck is that? Looks like uh, that is a phone sex website. You didn't wanna go to that website. Coleman forced you onto it? Yes, I did not wanna do that. So the big question is this, how can you protect yourself from this attack? Well, we've got three easy ways to bulletproof yourself right now. Number one, the easiest one, turn off the Wi-Fi on your cell phone before ever leaving your home. Number two, always keep your phone, laptop, and web browser up to date security wise. Yes, even your web browser gets updates. And number three, and most importantly, check that whatever browser you're using has this lock symbol on it. If it doesn't, you are at risk. On our website right now, we've got two more important steps for you to take. That's on the homepage at clicktohouston.com. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC2 Investigates.